social media and peer pressure frequently lead most teens to assume that everyone their age is sexually active. You may feel there's something deeply wrong with you for still not losing your virginity or not wanting to have sex. But you'd be surprised to learn this is far from the truth. Even when they're around sexually active peers, studies show that many young people choose to abstain from sex. What do the numbers say about teen abstinence? Recent research shows that many young people choose to stay virgins for a while. For example, one study on adolescent boys between the ages of 14 and 17 has shown that 38% hadn't had sex yet. About 62% of them wanted to wait longer before becoming sexually active. The most common reasons were because it was against their moral or religious beliefs and that they didn't want to get a girl pregnant or get an STD. Another US study found that millennials, which are people born in the 80s and 90s, were more likely to have had no sexual partners compared to Gen X population born in 60s and 70s. For example, in the 20 to 24 age group, around 15% of millennials born in the 1990s had not had any sexual partners since the age of 18. This is more than double the percentage of those born in the 1960s when it was approximately just 6%. However, this trend of not having sexual partners among the younger generations was more noticeable among females. So, contrary to popular belief, a sizable proportion of millennials, particularly those born in the 1990s, did not engage in sex after the age of 18. What do people define as virginity? For almost all young people, having sex means penile vaginal intercourse. Research studies have indicated that between 76 to 81% of college students considered anal intercourse as having sex, whereas 37 to 60% didn't count oral sex as having sex. Similarly, only a small percentage described deep kissing as sex, while 61% of students considered manual stimulation to orgasm as sexual abstinence. Males were more likely than females to perceive less risky behaviors like genital touching as sex. Why do teens choose not to have sex? The decision not to engage in sexual activity is usually motivated by a variety of factors. 1. Personal Beliefs and Values Personal choice plays a significant role in deciding to postpone sex, as personal views and values are important to many teenagers. Being super focused on school or having strict religious and moral beliefs frequently shape these decisions, with some teens opting to postpone having sex until they feel more mature and ready. Research exploring sexual abstinence in adolescent girls showed that they choose to abstain from sex due to valuing themselves and waiting for a worthy partner, the roles of mothers in their lives and listening to their advice, navigating peer pressure, a lack of opportunity such as having strict parents, and recognizing the risks involved with sex. A study from the Netherlands involving young people aged 12 to 25 discovered that the reasons for sexual abstinence change as they become older. Younger children aged 12 to 14 generally believe that they're too young. When they reach the ages of 15 to 17 or 18 to 24, the most prevalent reason is it just hasn't happened yet. However, there are other factors to consider, such as being afraid, not meeting the perfect partner, having parental or religious views that oppose it, or having low self-esteem. 2. Influence of Family and Friends Aside from the personal factors, family and friends may influence a teen's decision to postpone having sex. For example, living with both parents, having a well-educated mother, or feeling as if your parents have high expectations can all lead to a longer waiting period for sex. Friends play an essential role too. That is, you're more likely to wait if your peers share your beliefs. 3. Self-Image Issues If you remain a virgin into early adulthood, this may be due to poor self-image and related self-esteem issues. In a survey of individuals who haven't had sex, the majority never dated, were highly timid, had body image concerns such as being overweight, and believed their appearance was a barrier to being intimate. So, when it comes to sex, don't feel rushed to do anything until you feel ready. When you know that the time is right, make sure it's done safely. But first, consider why losing your virginity is important to you. 
Is it to have a positive experience with someone you really like and trust? Or is it just a means to get it done with anyone, just so you can get it over with as soon as possible? If you're vulnerable with the wrong person, it may end up doing more harm than good. And although you may feel pressured to lose your virginity because many of your peers have been sexually active, do what's best for you, not what others are doing. That's because when you compare yourself to others, you'll realize that comparison is the thief of joy. Want to build more confidence in yourself? Strengthen your self-worth by checking out this video here. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.